Aries friends. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. Happy New Year. I hope you guys all have a beautiful Happy New Year's. So this is going to be your January 2019 monthly general reading. This is going to be for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Aries, as a reminder, I'm reading for a lot of you. It is impossible for it to resonate for every single one of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Feel free to definitely watch your other signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go if you'd like a quick question answered quickly. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Facebook Live every Wednesday for a general reading for each sign. Love to have you guys follow me there. Wheel of the Year for you guys. For Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign Spirit, January 2019. For Aries. Aries. Actually, Aries, this feels good for you guys. Okay, your central issue, the moon. Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. Your foundation, the Eight of Swords. Recent past, Page of Swords. My goodness, crowning you, Knight of Swords, reversed. Moving forward, you guys. Reversed. Notice in this card with this deck, you also get the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. All right, Aries. Let's see here. Okay. So. Interesting. Um, unfortunately, all of this... Looks like it's all about communication and lies. Some of you are dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone needs to say something, but doesn't have the guts to do it. You know, upright, this is quick to take action. You know, it's doing things suddenly. You know, reversed, they're not. Page of Swords. You know, it could be a little bit of a defensive energy holding back in the recent past. And for some of you, you're trying to start something with an air sign. Possibly a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But it's also lies. Someone is hiding something. And I think you are scared to take a leap of faith. You're hesitant. You are on the defensive. You don't really know what to say or to do right now. And your situation has you feeling stuck. Like there's nothing you could do, which is crap, because the Eight of Swords is always all mental. You know, usually it, it's just it's time for someone to open up and tell the truth. Because if you don't, someone else is going to do it for you. Because... This is out there. Sure, it could be about a water sign, but it's also about emotions. You know, this is a highly, highly emotional card, especially in this deck. Highly emotional.
Some of you are having communication issues with an air sign or a water sign. Some of you just don't have any faith in the situation. You feel like you can't take a leap of faith in a situation to start something new, whether it's in your career or love. I definitely feel like a lot of you are holding back. There is something that needs to come out. And someone else might do it for you. Again, it could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They just might out you. Vice versa, you, them. This could be work, family, whatever. But something, its it just feels big, whatever this is. We're going to clarify using Mystic Dreamer. Look at this card, really. That's spying. Someone is spying in the Reese. What it was, we'll see. All right, let me clear. I'm just clearing out this deck right now from the last reading. Okay, we are going to go to the Eight of Swords first. Eight of Swords. Oh, dear God. Listen, guys. This is the High Priestess reversed. No. No. No, 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 no. Please, listen to me very carefully. If you need to say something to someone, you've got three communication cards. But you're stuck in your head. You're not doing it, and you really need to do it. I'm begging you, please do it. Because, let me see. Let me, let, let me look at this moon. Okay, this card fell right out. Well, there's no more contemplating with the two of wands. If you're stuck, which it seems like most of you are, in contemplation mode to where you don't want to do the right thing or you don't want to move forward, unfortunately, Aries, you're going to end up stuck again. Let's see the Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Guys, this is spying. Straight up spying. Let, let me grab another card off the top. And you could be someone's third party. Three of Cups. Dear Lord. No. Um... You could be someone's third party screwing around like, I don't like this. I'm going to be very honest. I do not like this. I mean, you know, this might not be actually cheating physically. You could be cheating a friend, cheating yourself. You could be spying for someone else. This is third party in the past with the Ace of Swords. It's to the present. This is to now. Moving into January. Because today is the 29th of December. It's to the present. And Aries, unfortunately, I'm sorry. You're going to lose... It is absolutely going to come out whatever it is. It, it, it really is the Knight of Swords. Let's check it out. Let me get these out of my way. 
Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords for Aries. Okay. More communication with the Eight of Wands. Internet related. Someone could have put a stop to internet related communication with you. I'm going to get another card there. Okay, definitely that one. Oh my gosh, there's you. The Empress. Female. Or you are the female that did, that did this. This could even be lies on the internet. You know, you have social media here with the Three of Cups. And now, you know, here with the Eight of Wands. And you have lies. So, you are either... On the receiving end... Of this shit. You, you, you're either on the road. Giving or receiving end of this shit. You either betrayed someone verbally. In terms of communication. Or communicating. With female or you are the female that is on the receiving end of this but listen guys I am sorry but it is not good she could be a female air sign but she's moving forward moving on let me see the full Three of Pentacles. I think you're definitely someone's third party. Um, let me get another card on this. Definitely. star reversed all right Aries Aquarius right there both reversed I need another one there and the hangman reversed and you're letting go Aquarius and Aries are over Others of you are dealing with a water sign. Moon. King of Swords reverse. Definitely manipulative communication. It's all lies. Some of you... Cannot trust. If you have Aquarius in your chart, maybe they don't trust you, especially if you're female. And if it's work, it's like a business deal gone wrong. Or what you thought was going to happen didn't. If you were promised something, it didn't happen by a water sign or by an Aries or an Aquarius. Whatever was promised, it's not happening. 
the truth is absolutely coming out about your situation. Either that or someone had an epiphany and boom, they're out of here. And I mean, I'm sorry, guys. It, it's just a quick boom. I'm done. You know, the Empress is someone... Well, in the reverse, I mean, very pissed off, unhappy. You know, this is usually someone that has their shit together. But they're not happy. And this is either going to be you or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Work, family, love, whatever the case may be. Truth needs to come out. All right, Aries, I'm going to pull you one of these Moonology Oracle cards. Absolutely amazing cards. Additional guidance, clarification for Aries. This is a quick undone. It, it, it really is. Somebody's done. Whether it's you or, an, or I think it's an Aquarius or a water sign. That's it. Aquarius or Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Period. If you're not dealing with either one of those signs, it's not your reading. Look at that shit. Communication is the key. New Moon in Gemini. You know, truth is always the best policy, right? Just spill it. If it's you, or if you're the one that needs to spill the truth, Aries, because honestly, it does appear here that it is you. You need to do it before someone else does. It is better for the truth to come from you than to come from someone else. Like a water sign. All right. I love you guys. Again, guys, if it didn't resonate, please watch your other signs. I will see you guys back here shortly. Again, have a beautiful New Year's. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.